Crestliner 1850 Fish Hawk. We are here at the 2022 Minneapolis International Boat Show. I'm here with Todd Larson of Bass Hotel Guide Service. He has been fishing the waters of Minnesota in smaller boats like this for 30, 40 years professionally. I can't think of anybody on the planet that knows more about smaller fishing boats than this man right here. Hey everybody, I'm Captain Peterson. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you believe in continuous improvement, you love outdoor adventures with your friends, and you like cool gear, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. We have many more videos to come. If you want to have Miami style, but be on the lakes of Minnesota or Canada, this is the boat you buy. Thinking about upgrading to the one that we're putting on the list. <laughs> we're putting on the list. Upgrading the one that we're putting on the list. Very, yeah, that could that's get amazing. spendy. So they must yeah. really believe in their products if they're putting a warrant in it like that. Right. Crestliner 1850 Fish Hawk. I believe that Crestliners back in the day didn't have always the best reputation. I believe that it's probably improving. I honestly don't know a ton about Crestliners. I've never owned one. I do own I, I've had one Crestliner and I liked it a lot. It was a nice boat. I didn't have it for very long. Yeah. Um, would I get another one? Sure. Don't make a bad boat. Anymore. No, they don't make a bad boat. It's just, you know, if it's going to be more of a value and money is your biggest issue for buying a boat, you probably want to get a crust Yeah, it might, it's fit and finish might not be as good as the, the interior, yeah. Yeah. you know, they the are a little a lighter. Hull. Yeah. You know, they're a little lighter, they use a little bit thinner hull uh, material. Correct, they do. It's, they're, but they're that's cool. less horsepower too, so there's like yeah. pros and cons to all that. Doesn't mean it's a bad boat, it's just, you know, sure with a smaller vehicle, you know, yeah. less gas when you're towing, so yeah. that, you know, think about those things. They have a lot of storage, we were looking at that yeah, one they do. Yeah. and it had a lot of storage to it. Yeah, they, they're very thoughtful in the way they do it. I like their front deck a little bit. I yeah. thought the front deck was more a little, space. little more space in the front yeah. deck for Cassie. You could get a couple people up there fishing. Yeah. You know, if it was me, I would put two seats up in the front. Most of them have one seat yeah. if you look at them. I like to have two seats up there because I like to fish up there and have somebody up there with me that I'm teaching how to fish when I'm, when I'm guiding. It's kind of weird. It looks weird, but it's functional and it works. The top five versatile fishing boats that will last you 30 years and will also fit in your garage. Be sure to check out the top five video that's in the thumbnail on the screen. It'll be a video that you like. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip side.